So sometimes your teacher might share a Microsoft Word document, and that might be a little bit more challenging um, to print off if you have a printer at home, or just to um, work in uh, and edit. That can be a little bit challenging sometimes. Um, so my suggestion is either changing it into a Google Doc, um, but also there's another way um, to get it printed as a Word document. So I'm just going to show you a couple different options here. So this is my test class. I've shared a Microsoft Word document. Now I'm looking at it as a student in my test class. Oh, it's just trying to take me on a tour here. OK, so I'm going to click open that Word document that they've shared. So let's say that this is the assignment I need to do. So there's a few different options here. When I open it just in this preview window, there is a print symbol. So I can click print from here and it's going to open it in another area, kind of changes it um, into a PDF. So that's because I'm on a Chromebook, um, but uh, that is one way you can do it. And then you can print from here. So again, just always looking for that print symbol. And then I won't have a printer option as I don't have one here, but this is where you would choose from the drop down list, whichever your printer is. And you should be able to print off just from there. Now, if you're not seeing the print symbol show up, um, sometimes what you need to do, um, and this is another trick that you're going to need if you wanna change it into a Google Doc. We have these magic three dots over here in the preview. For some reason, when I click these three dots, oh, let's move that out of the way, and then I click open in new window, I'm able to open this doc and it still looks like a preview, but it's gonna give me a lot more options once it's open in a new window. So now I still have the print option. I'm able to download it. So if I'm on a regular computer um, that uses Microsoft, I could just download it and use it in Word. I could also go into more actions and now I'm able to share, organize, um, and do a lot of different things with it. But then also, we have this magical area in the middle, open with. And if you're wanting to edit within this Word doc, but you'd rather be doing it in Google Docs because Microsoft Word is really not user friendly within there, you can go to Google Docs. And it's going to do its best to transition your Microsoft Word doc into a Google Doc. So it might take a few minutes while it's trying to do that, depending on the length of the document, it can take a bit of time. And then we'll see how the formatting transitions. Sometimes it can make the formatting a little bit wonky, um, but for the most part, the text and everything should transfer over nicely. And there we go. So it's brought my whole table over, all the writing in it. So that's a great example of um, a formatting shift that has gone well. So now I have this Google Doc, and they're just telling me it's dot .doc because it came from a Word doc, and I can edit right here. So it's going to be a little bit more user friendly and you can also print from this version as well. So if you wanted to edit online and then file print from here or use the print icon, you can do that as well. So those are just a few ways you can deal with getting a Word document on Google Classroom. I hope that's helpful.